Hey everyone, it's Chris. We're back at it with another adventure. Uh, continuing on our Civil War trip. Uh, we've been following a lot of Civil War battles and stuff like that from Sherman going down or going from Chattanooga to Atlanta. And we have actually stopped in Atlanta because it's one place that we haven't hit up, hit up yet. As you can see, this monument right here is a, is a memorial uh, for the death of McPherson. Major General James McPherson was killed during the Battle of Atlanta, July 22nd, 1864. And then over here is a historical ground of the Battle of Atlanta. So this was a, the Battle of Atlanta um, was a significant role in the Civil War um, because Sherman knew that he had to capture Atlanta and take over Atlanta because that was the major turning point of the Civil War. So he knew that if he could win the Battle of Atlanta, uh, then he knew that the Civil War would be closer to becoming an, to an end, uh, and then we can we can relieve ourselves from all the fighting and the killing and all of the all the violence that was going on in the world and, and stuff like that. So it was a major role. But not only was the Battle of Atlanta a major role for General Sherman, but it was also a major role for President Lincoln during his campaign at that time. Because Lincoln knew that if Sherman was not to capture Atlanta from the Confederate, Confederate States, then Lincoln would have a harder time uh, being reelected. So Lincoln knew that in order for him to succeed a second term and have a better chance of a second term, he knew that Sherman had to give everything he had to make sure that, it, that the Confederate States of America fell to the hands of the Union soldiers here at the Battle of Atlanta. Um, so this is the monument of, uh, of General McPherson. A little bit up the road, there's another general that was killed too, uh, General Walker. Um, so we're going to visit that as well. We're going to visit the the markers, and then we're going. Our final stops is going to be the Jonesboro Confederate Cemetery, as well as the West View, West View Cemetery, uh, to pay respects and um, just honor the men that died in the Civil War and just show how much we appreciate their sacrifices that they gave during this time um, of the Civil War, which lasted four years. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video and make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys. So this is the spot where General Walker died, right here in this area. Uh, he was a general for the Confederate Army. Um, right here is giving you a little bit more information of the death of him. Um, it happened on July 22nd, 1864. This was, this is the spot where General Walker as he passed away um, after having combat with the Federal Union soldiers. So that is a very interesting thing. I've been so grateful to be able to come out here and view this and share this information with you guys. Uh, we do have a lot of other history markers coming up in the area too throughout our tour as well as the cemeteries. So I hope that you guys stay tuned and just continue watching all this great information that I'm providing for you guys, and I love you guys. Alright you guys, so this is actually a marker where we stand today. 
is actually where the Battle of Atlanta actually began. Uh, it was July of 20, or July 22nd, 1864, when Sweeney's 2nd Division Dodge 16th um, unit was actually being held in reserve of north of the Georgia Railroad was ordered to support the left of the Blair 17th Corps in East Atlanta. So basically this is all going into the start of the war here in Atlanta and there was attacks on Walker and Bates Division. Walker is that general that we recently visited his memorial where he was shot and killed at. Um, there's markers all up and down this road. Um, um, different things that's happened in the Civil War. There's one right down there next to that YMCA building. Um, so there's so much history here. Um, th there's a couple of the markers that we're going to go to is actual battlefields uh, like Ezar Church and Peachtree uh, Peach uh, Creek Trail. Those, so those are some of the some of the battles that was here. Um, this the Battle of Atlanta was basically the the lat or the start of the Battle of Atlanta was also what Sherman was main point of getting to Savannah. But be, before he could even get to Atlanta and have a battle here in Atlanta, um, he had to conquer the last mountain, which was Kennesaw Mountain. He had to conquer that mountain from the Confederate Army in order to get to Atlanta and be able to take it over to take it over from the Confederate Army. Uh, so he was successful in doing both of those things. And that was how Atlanta was eventually burned by Sherman. Um, but as you can see, Atlanta today has rose just like a phoenix. It rose from the ashes because he knew that, he, the reason why he burned the city of Atlanta was that he knew that he, what he said was that Atlanta could one day be a beautiful city. Um, so that is his main purpose behind burning of Atlanta, but it was also, he knew that taking care of Atlanta and burning Atlanta would destroy the main source of artillery and, and all this other stuff that the Confederates needed to continue going on with the war. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next location. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video, and I love you guys. Alright you guys, so we are here at the Battle of Gizar Church, uh, going on, continuing our trip through Atlanta and the uh, Civil War and everything. There's actually several plaques around me, uh, so a lot of it looks really like faded out, and then some of them just, you know, you can just tell that there's a lot of like wear and tear from like weather or whatnot around this area but um i'm actually enjoying my trip out here in atlanta and uh getting to see the civil war history that actually took place here in the great state of georgia in the city of atlanta um but i hope that you guys are, conti are you guys continuing like the videos that i'm uploading and uh, always make sure that you guys hit that like button or subscribe to my channel it really helps me out a lot and uh, I just appreciate once again all the support that you guys are giving me and showing how much you guys really appreciate my videos and the content that I bring to you guys. Uh, it means so much to me and uh, I just hope that you guys continue watching it and you know once again I love you guys and let's let's begin and look at one of these well, let's look at these uh, plaques and see what what kind of history we can undiscover uh, today in Atlanta.
Alright you guys, so we're going to go ahead and get ready to head to the next location. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you guys Alright you guys, so we are here at the, bat at the Battle of Peachtree Creek uh, here in Atlanta. So I uh, hope that you guys are enjoying these videos and this content that I bring to you guys. Uh, we're going to look further more into these plaques that are down here. Uh, that kind of gives us a little more history of the battle and the Union forces and the Federal forces and how they advanced and who was all engaged. You know, and it'll show you these plaques show you like the generals, the, the brigade leaders and stuff like that. Over here is a plaque uh, that talks about the Battle of Peachtree Creek, uh, which was July 20th of 1864. Um, it was actually commanded by Major General William Sherman, uh, which was closing in on Atlanta. Uh, so if you guys are not really familiar with Peachtree Creek Battle, it, it was kind of on the outside of Atlanta. Uh, this it was actually, and this battle actually took place uh, in the city of Buckhead. Um, so it's kind of going into the city of Atlanta. Uh, so that's always some interesting facts. Um, once again, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you guys enjoy the content that I have provided for you guys. And once again, I love you guys and I hope that you guys have a great time viewing these uh, videos. Uh, and also make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you guys have any special places that you guys would like me to go to, any kind of battlefields or any kind of historical sites, uh, make sure you guys put that in the comment section as well and I love you guys. So here we go, we're going to walk down to this section as well, um, which talks a little bit more about the Confederate attack um, and how the Confederacy uh, planned to attack the Union, Union's uh, forces. Um, so let's go ahead and view this information and see what we can discover. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Let me film this, okay? I know. Let me film this real quick, okay, sweetheart? It's our Civil War, remember? Yes. You guys see right over there, that's actually uh, the creek. Uh, there's a creek over that way. And there's this field over here as well. Um, but with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And uh, stay tuned to our next location that we go to as we continue our tour through Atlanta in, in the Civil War history that is embedded here into the city. Uh, and just kind of continue learning on the Civil War and the different things that happened during the Civil War and the different battles that took place during the Civil War. But once again, I hope that you guys enjoy these videos and I love you guys.
are you guys? So we have made it here at Piedmont Park, uh, which is the location of the Peace Monument statue, which is right, be right behind me. Uh, it symbolized an angel speaking to a soldier uh, saying no more war and that we have to stop this conflict and this battle. Uh, so we need to have peace um, here. Uh, and then there's a few markers over here. So let me go ahead and take a screenshot of all this information. But I hope that you guys enjoy this. We have one more trip. And that is going to be the Jonesboro Confederate Cemetery. Uh, that is where all the soldiers that died in the Battle of Atlanta, which were Confederates, are buried at. And where they are laid to rest. Uh, so we're going to go there and pay, some, pay our respects to the Confederate Army that was killed in the Battle of Atlanta. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And I love you guys.